time for a video that everybody looks forward to. One of the videos that everybody looks forward to every year. It is time to do my brand new 2021 treat bag haul. So this of course is not the video where I'm putting the treat bags together. I usually put that video out the day before Halloween or Halloween itself where I show you guys putting together all of the treat buckets, everything that I give away to trick-or-treaters. Last year was like the first year that I didn't do those videos. It was weird. But we are back on track again this year. I actually did give out a couple of treats last year, but I must admit there were not that many trick-or-treaters. So I am expecting more trick-or-treaters this year, but we'll see. Usually we get hundreds of trick-or-treaters every single year. So what will it be like this year? I don't know. We're just gonna have to stay tuned and find out. So today is actually going to be a two-part haul because not only am I doing a haul of the lovely Halloween trick-or-treat treat bag goodies, but I'm also doing a little bit of a fall thrift haul thanks to today's video sponsor, which is where I got this gorgeous shirt that I'm wearing today. So today's video sponsor is Thread Up, and I did a whole like try on portion. So we're just gonna jump to that part of the video first. I'm gonna show you guys my fall thrift haul. Take it away, bunny of the future. So today's video is sponsored by Thread Up, and I am honestly so so happy to be sponsored by ThreadUp because it is a site that long before I got this sponsorship opportunity, I love shopping from there. If you guys don't know, ThreadUp is an online thrift store. They have over 40,000 different brands on their website. They get tons of new items every single day and most items you get 90% off. If you guys know anything about my fashion sense for the past couple of years, I really have been exclusively shopping pre-loved vintage clothing items. There is very few times that I shop like anything that is brand new. One of the greatest things about Thread Up is it truly does give you a thrift store shopping experience price-wise but obviously it's so much more organized than just walking into a thrift store because if there's like a specific brand or a specific style, like a lot of the times I look for peplum tops. That's just a style that I love. You can type all of that in. You can sort by size, color, brand, so many options on their website. I have found lots of Betsy Johnson on ThreadUp before. You guys know that that is probably like my favorite brand of all time. And that's the other great thing about ThreadUp is they have such a wide range. They have a lot of designer pieces, which is something I've really, really been into lately, is actually collecting vintage designer pieces and also just things that I remember seeing in stores and stuff, just designer pieces that like I did not buy at whatever particular time. You guys are going to be blown away. I have an Alexander McQueen piece today and I paid a fraction for it. I do have a promo code coming up for you guys so stay tuned for that but I want to show you guys the pieces that I got today and tell you guys like the prices the savings right up top right the first thing is this shirt that I'm wearing right now and the the shirt that I'm wearing like in the other portion of this video both of those are wild fox <clears throat> and I absolutely love all Wild Fox clothing. I don't think I've ever gotten a piece from them that I did not immediately like love. It is pieces of clothing that will last you forever. If you guys know anything about Wild Fox, brand new, it can be quite pricey, but it's been so fun to just find some of these pieces that I never saw before and I never like bought before. And I got them for such an amazing discount. So this Fleur de Lis shirt that I have on right now, they estimate the original retail value was $71 and I paid $20 for this. The other Wild Fox shirt, they estimate the original retail of that also being $71 and I paid like $24 for that one. Both of them, steel, super comfortable. I'm gonna wear them 
a ton. I got a amazing dress from a brand that used to be sold at Urban Outfitters. So comfortable. I feel like it's perfect for all seasons because you can layer with it or you can just wear it as a tank top dress in the summer. It's from the brand by Corpus. It's just such high quality. Like I feel like you could wear these cotton pieces forever. That's just a big aspect of thread up on a whole, they tell you these amazing facts like next to each item. They tell you the sustainability impact. This gorgeous bicorpus leopard dress, which I think that they estimated it to be $61 full price. I paid $10 for this. They estimate that the dress is equivalent to saving 33.5 gallons of water or 335 bottles of water. I got one other piece of clothing, which is these awesome American Apparel Chiffon Palazzo. I think that's how you pronounce that, pants. They say that the original retail value of these is $48 and I paid $20. The other things that I got are more along the lines of accessories. I wanted to get a really plain, black scarf in a nice fabric that I knew I would wear a lot. I've actually never had anything from this brand before, but it's Theory. And it's a fabric that I really like the feeling of called Modal. This Theory scarf was originally $125 and I got it for $27. Up next are two things that I just got amazing savings on and they're more along the lines of like designer pieces because I wanted to show you guys like the wide range of items you can find on thread up because like I said you can find everything from like literally $5 t-shirts to like designer pieces. I wanted to try and get a handbag and I've never had a Rebecca Minkoff bag before, but this bag originally retailed for $395. I've been loving this hardware lately, like this kind of clasp. Look at this. I love this, like this long, weird, like tassel kind of thing. So cool. I feel like it's just the right amount of spacious. It has this zipper section in the front and it has magnetic look at that so spacious and it's been a long time since i've had like a proper like handbag like this and the last thing i still have in the adorable polka dot thread up packaging this is how all of your items arrive in this super cute it's like a polka dot box it's so adorable and you guys Fingers crossed that these fit. Look at these, you guys. These were originally $1,250. I love everything about this. I feel like, first of all, I've just always loved Alexander McQueen. It has very interesting detail to it, but I feel like it doesn't stand out in any way that like makes it only good for like one kind of style of outfit. Does that make sense? Cinderella of Alexander McQueen boots. That's the experience that I just had. It feels like it fits perfectly. Now I feel like I might need to use a boot pull to take it off. Um, That's the only thing is I wish, oh, I can get it on and off. Oh my God. It's an Alexander McQueen miracle, you guys. How amazing is that? Seriously. I mean, I feel like obviously like $125 is still expensive, but Alexander McQueen boots, these will last you a lifetime. I really cannot get over this website. It is just a super fun and amazing place to shop. It's so fun to browse. Like I said, I have a coupon code. So if you want to try thread up for yourself, all you have to do is click the link and be the first link down there. And you can get 30% off of your first order by using the code bunny. You guys are seriously going to be blown away by the selection and the prices of everything. Amazing savings and and amazingly positive environmental impact. So check it out. Check out the first link in the info box down below. Save 30% off of your first order. A huge thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the haul video. But let's just dive in you guys to something 
that y'all very well may see on banana peppers as well because I think I want to customize these. I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a lot today if you guys have watched my videos in the past, but every year I love to give away something that is like stationary related. One of my favorite things to get when I was a kid was the little miniature notebooks and the pens and pencils and stuff like that. Sometimes I feel like those little Halloween pads of paper, they're like not the greatest quality and like how much can you really write in a teeny tiny little notepad. So this year I found these things. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one as an example. And I almost said it's a full size mini notebook, but it is more, you know, purple is like a Halloween color to me. So it looks like it is higher quality paper. It comes with a little pin. And I feel like you could actually use this notebook for a while. But why I said it might be a banana peppers video is because I got a Cricut machine. So I think I'm gonna try and maybe do like a special vlogoween D cow on the front of these. Up next I've got these. I hope it's gonna be good quality. This is supposed to be sticky sand which I think is like their funny way of saying it's kinetic sand. I always try and give like some of the trending stuff out. I really wanted to be able to get those like pop it things this year but I think that those are like too trendy. We might see those next year, but like when fidget spinners were kind of still a big thing, I gave away fidget spinners. And then there was a year we did like slime. And I feel like maybe this kind of like kinetic sand stuff is still kind of trendy. The packages are cute. We've got a bunch of them in here. Yes, why did I just dump that out on the floor? Oh, we have blue ones too. Look, there's a little mummy on the blue sand. What color sand would you choose? I'm gonna go ahead and open the purple. I just kind of want to see what it feels like. Oh my gosh, it is like the, can you guys see? Oh my gosh, I know what this is like. Oh my God, this is like a perfect thing for me to be giving away, honestly, because it's like I had a cotton candy slime that I tested years ago now on banana peppers. And I don't think it was exactly kinetic sand. I think it literally was called like cotton candy sand or something, but I love this stuff. It feels almost like a fabric. It's like squishy, stretchy, super soft. I'm glad it does feel like it's really high quality. Only thing I wish, you know, if the world was a perfect place, I wish that it had like an egg type thing you can seal it in because obviously this is not a resealable package. What is this sticky slime gonna be like tomorrow? Is it gonna be sticky? Is it gonna be slimy? I don't know. Up next I got a bunch of plushies because these are also uh, things that I love to give away. I don't know if I ever remember getting a plush as a young child trick-or-treater but oh boy do I love to give these away. So I thought that these were so cute. They're a little funky, aren't we all? These are jack-o-lantern teddy bears. They're basically like pumpkins with ears. Why would pumpkins have ears? I don't know. What are they listening to? Up next we've got more plushies and these were too cute to pass up. They are <laughs> spiders? No, they're bats. Why did I think these are spiders? Oh, <gasps> they have bendy legs and arms. Wow, uh, but they are indeed bats. We have purple and we have blue is the other color. Why did, I, oh, he looks like he's dancing. He's a festive one. And I think I only got one other kind of plushies, which you guys know that I am frog crazy. So they are frogs. I feel like frogs are like kind of a Halloween thing. Plus literally who does not love a frog, you know, and these little guys are so cute. Look at that. Little feet, little hands, and they have Velcro, you know, you could like hang these in your car. I don't know how many trick-or-treaters have cars, but you know, uh, usually I do get trick-or-treaters of all ages. Cause I am like really into that. Like I literally do not care who you are. If you want to trick or treat, trick or treat. I don't know why some people are like so strict about like, if you're 10, you can't trick or treat anymore. I feel like we did a whole vlog about that like two years ago because some cities literally did pass laws where you can't be a certain age and still trick or treat. And I'm just kind of like, hey, you know, if somebody wants to trick or treat, let him trick or treat, but that's just me. 
you know. Uh, look at this guy. He's like, yeah, let him trick or treat. Uh, this one is really cute. Why do these all have like different facial expressions to me? You guys, I haven't had much sleep lately, so they're speaking to me. This is something that I definitely have gotten before. These are so awesome to me. I love these. I feel like I've been able to get these in person somewhere a million years ago. Where was it? The Dollar Tree? I don't know. They are like Halloween Mardi Gras beads. They literally say Halloween and they have spiders and jack-o'-lanterns. They look so cool to me. So there's orange ones and there's black ones and they are the same design just a different color. You know what, maybe these are slightly different than they have been in the past. Honestly, my neighbors are suddenly mowing their lawn. I don't remember them actually having this before where you can like pop it apart. Next, pencil toppers. I think that they made them smaller this year. I wish I had another example here in this room, but I don't. Um, I always love to get these eraser pencil toppers. We've gotten skulls before, jack-o'-lanterns. There have been some sets from Target where I feel like they were like busts of horror monsters. Like you get um, Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, a mummy, a bat, all of that kind of stuff. Um, these are really, really cute. Now I do think that I got 144 of them. So maybe that's why they are smaller. Up next, something the kids will love and the parents might hate. I got disappearing ink and it has been a hot minute since I have had any disappearing ink, but I feel like my elementary school used to have a carnival. I'm trying to open this. I need a knife. I found a tool. Ew. Oh, stuff jumped off of this tool. My elementary school used to have a carnival every year. It was like a fall carnival. They had a haunted house and uh, it was a lot of fun. But I distinctly remember that disappearing ink had like a scent, recognizable scent. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of disappearing ink. I kind of want to like test this out, but also I feel like you have to wear like a different color for that. So disappearing ink folks, uh, up next, something else in a box. Let's slice it open. I did order custom pencils. I did that one or two years before where I did like custom vlogoween pencils to hand out. I'm not sure what like local people, what relevance that has like graveyard girls vlogoween, like great, yeah. Ew, okay, this is something that I feel like I need to film a B-roll of just so I can like open this in a little bit, set up a different camera angle and show you guys. It's those like slime spitting balls where you get them to like <laughs> suck up the slime in their mouths. So we have a ghost, a Frankenstein. You know what, I always try and say Frankenstein's monster. I'm just gonna call him a Frankenstein. I feel like being a little wild, a little crazy. Uh, and we have a Jack lantern which is probably my personal favorite so they come with these green packets of slime and they like suck up the slime and then you squeeze them and they barf out the slime and their whole existence is just eating slime and then barfing slime perfect fun for the whole family i don't know what's in this box either but it's not recommended for children under the age of three. Oh my god okay i loved these i have wanted to order these for so long i don't know if kids are gonna love these or not but hey I love them. That used to be like one of my favorite things to do randomly. When I was younger, I would like pretend that I was like winning an Oscar. So it's a skeleton Oscar. It's like a little skeleton Oscar. I mean, there is literally no other way to describe this other than skeleton Oscar. Kids have got to love these. I would imagine kids would love these. What's in here? I don't know. I did this upside down, uh, but these looked so cute to me. Once again, I'm sure I'll have a B-roll clip in here so you guys can like see up close what they look like, but they are wind up. These just look so cute. You know what? Let's just wind one up now. There's green ones and purple ones and they are these like skeletons, skulls. So cute. So let's see. Okay. Don't focus on me. There we go. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. 
There we go. Look at that. So if he was on the floor, he'd be hopping and chomping. The chomping function seems to be doing great. Ew, this is heavy. What is it? It is. Oh, I thought that these would be fun too. They are those like water tube toys and they have spiders in them. I remember always like getting these at like book fairs and stuff. And so there is like red ones. What? These are like Christmas colors. Red, white, and green. Merry Christmas. Here's a spider tube. Something else I couldn't pass up on, it's frogs. It's frog finger puppets slash, I'm kind of hoping maybe these would make pencil toppers as well. I feel like they've been making this same design forever because I swear this is something I had when I was a kid too. Nobody's finger is that small. These have got to be pencil toppers. Ow. Like even trying to shove it onto my finger, it doesn't feel, it, oh, he's gone. Um, but they're so cute. Maybe a finger puppet. You know, there's a bunch of them in here. Next, I've got squishies. And I think squishies are like still relatively trendy. I don't know. We've got ghosts. They're also tie dye. I love that. And we've got pumpkins. Look at that. I'm actually gonna like take this one out. I'm gonna sample it. And I think the other one is um, skeletons, skulls. So, oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, this is not like a squishy really at all. This is definitely like, do you remember back in the old days, like before there was squishies, there was like those like foam balls. That's literally what this feels like. How can I describe it? But I mean, I'm sure you can see like there's no like slow or fast rising. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm squishing a piece of foam in between my fingers. So I definitely did wish those to be like more squishy, but hey, you know, it's an imperfect world. Up next we have beautiful rings. And I'm literally not kidding when I say that I feel like these could be actual fashion accessories. I would just wear these on a random Thursday. Is it Thursday today? I'm trying to make sure that I have one of each design. There are bats. Look at how cool these look. Tell me these don't look cool. We have skulls. Look at that. We've got cats. I have two cats and we have jack-o'-lantern. And I think that that's all the different designs. Up next is something that I love. You guys, I miss going to Mardi Gras so much. I feel like for whatever reason, like New Orleans and then Galveston celebrates Mardi Gras. I'm not sure if Mardi Gras is something that goes on in other places. If you have Mardi Gras parades and stuff in your city, let me know. I mean, I'm sure that they do in other places in Louisiana, like Baton Rouge. Do y'all have Mardi Gras there? A big thing of Mardi Gras is they like throw doubloons at you and you like try and catch the doubloons. And so, you know, I thought that these were just super fun. They're like Halloween tokens. They are literally pretty much just like Mardi Gras doubloons, except for, I mean, I guess those are like normally metallic and there are a bunch of different Mardi Gras crews. And so normally like it says like crew of Aquarius or like that's one of them that we have here in Galveston. I think I've shown you guys all of the different designs. Up next we have hoppers. And I think I've given away lots of stuff similar to this, but these looked very cute. Look at these little guys. Oh, <gasps> so cute. I like this one. He looks like he's having an extra good time. Oh my God. These even have arms. I didn't notice that at first, but like you, you know, you, how do you do this? Honestly, I thought you just like smushed them down. We're all waiting on you, little buddy. Ah! Oh, that was surprising. I feel like these are like less scary eyeball poppers, you know? Cause these are hoppers. Those are poppers. Hoppers and poppers. You got hoppers and poppers. Take your pick. Ew. Up next are, I feel like I need to do a size comparison. I feel like they suddenly shrunk the erasers. Cause this was the other thing that I thought might be a duplicate from years past, but I swear these are smaller, but these are so cool. They are 
skeleton. Oh, <gasps> they have two faces. Interesting. Pencil top erasers. These are skeletons. Skulls. I always call skeletons skulls, skulls, skeletons for whatever reason. Interchangeable term to me. I've got my custom pencils. So a couple of years ago, they actually had an option to customize Halloween pencils for whatever reason this year, they did not. So I did just go with the neon option, but it does say Graveyard Girls Vlogween 2021, unless I made a typo and then it would say something different. So I thought that I could make these look more Halloween-y by putting a pencil topper on the top here. I actually thought maybe I could put my custom pencils with these notebooks, but as you guys can see, the pencil is like two inches taller than the notebook. So I don't think that that really works out too well. So we have green, blue, like a red, orange, and it looks like yellow all the way down here. I'm trying to get one of every color. So yeah, they all say Graveyard Girl Vlogoween, Graveyard Girls Vlogoween 2021. You can really read it really well on the yellow pencil. But yeah, I like to do the custom pencils. I wish they would have had the Halloween ones, but you know, once again, it's an imperfect world. Oh my God, I thought parents would love these. Do you wanna see what these are? This is definitely something I've never done before because I don't think they've ever sold them before. Uh, because if they did, I feel like I would have bought these multiple years in a row. They are Halloween cowbells. More cowbells. So we have the jack-o'-lantern design, which is probably my favorite one. You know, this is like <gasps> Halloween homecoming, which I wish that that was a thing, you know? Uh, so we have cat, pumpkins, and I think the other one is Frankenstein. So there is the cat, imagine that. And lastly, we've got monsters. Doesn't he look super cute? The jack-o'-lantern ones are definitely my favorite, but hey, the other ones are cute too. All right, I don't know why I thought that these would be good for Halloween, but these are adorable. They are like funky <laughs> trolls. These are definitely finger puppets. A bunch of different colorways. Wow, um, look at all of these guys. Wait, I'm missing a green one. We gotta get green in there. The whole family's here. Um, look at that. So cute. They have wiggly eyes. I once again kind of thought that these could be pencil toppers, but they're supposed to be finger puppets. As you guys may know, I always like to do what I call adding dimension to my pumpkin pail <laughs> treats buckets. So a lot of times I like to stack a cup inside of the bucket and put things in the cup, things in the bucket, you know, just give it a little a little staging, a little dimension. I did not know that these were gonna be like super flimsy solo cups. Normally I try and give things that I feel like people are gonna be able to use prolongedly. You know, I have a lot of my old Halloween cups um, just, you know, in various places around the house and I put pens and pencils and stuff like that in them. You'd have to be careful with this one if you were going to use it prolongedly, you definitely probably couldn't like drink out of it and then use it, I don't know. So yeah, very, very cute design, but I definitely thought that they were going to be like the sturdier plastic cups. Up next, we've got Halloween Stampers, which I think I've given either these or something very similar to these away in years past. I think each stamp is double-sided or maybe like one side is like a marker. You guys, the camera's dying. So I'm gonna show you guys the details of this a little bit later, but I honestly don't know if both sides of these are stampers or if one side is a stamper and sometimes the other side will be like a little marker. So I honestly, I don't know, but we have a bunch of them and in a bunch of different colors. Last thing. I thought that this would be so fun. I feel like people are obviously still really into the whole like mystery 
unboxing thing, you know, with like mini brands and stuff like that. And so I thought that these were kind of cute. They reminded me a lot of mini brands. They're in balls like mini brands. Do you know what I mean? So supposedly the ball glows in the dark. They have an unwrapping experience. So there are six of them to collect and they come with a figure, an activity sheet, and a sticker. Nevertheless, I just thought it would be a fun experience. Oh my God, he's cute. Look at him, he looks so excited. We got the blue and orange one. Oh, his name is Zoomy. So there is the little sticker. Name your lunar little. It's like a little adoption certificate with some little games on the back. You know, I mean, once again, I just feel like if a kid got this on Halloween, they would just be super excited. It looks kind of like a mini brand. It feels kind of like a mini brand. Those are all of the new things that I got this year. I think sometimes in years past, I've gotten some stuff on Amazon as well, and maybe somewhere else, but I don't know if I'm gonna like get any other new stuff to add this year, because honestly, I bought a ton of stuff in 2019 and I didn't get to use any of it in 2020 really. So I feel like I have a ton of stuff that I haven't even gone through yet. I don't know, we'll see. I'm excited. I feel like it's still not gonna be like 100% back to normal or anything, obviously, unfortunately. But yeah, it feels good to be doing treat bag stuff again. So a huge thank you to you guys for hanging out today and for watching. A huge thank you once again to today's video sponsor, which was Thread Up. Don't forget to check them out by clicking the first link in the info box down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator a twangs. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.